Good day guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at Turtle Wax's Hybrid Solutions Pro One and Done Compound. Okay, so we're gonna be diving into the Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions Pro One and Done Compound. This is their newest products out. There is three products in this Pro Graphene lineup. So today, like I mentioned, we're gonna be taking a look at the One and Done Compound. But before we get started, I wanna say, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. Also, remember to smash that thumbs up if you like this video and drop a comment down below. So we're gonna be diving in on the one and done compound. Um, I do have a nice tape line. We're gonna get a nice 50-50 shot to see what this is going to do. This is a very, very unique one and done compound. Uh, basically, it has precision platelet technology for its abrasives. So on its abrasives and its cutting power is all up to you and the pads that you're going to use with this compound. So if you want a very light polish, you're gonna use a soft wax pad. If you want something that's a heavy cut, you're gonna go ahead and use a microfiber or a Euro or a wool pad for that heavy cut. And then for anything in between, you're going to just match your pads for what you need. It's going to be best to start out with a least aggressive pad, something where you think you're gonna need. Use that pad, see if you're getting the results that you want. If you are, stick with that pad. If you need more cutting power, then go ahead and step your pad up to the next aggressive. Don't just start out right away with a microfiber pad if your paint really is not that bad. But the platelet technology in the Turtle Wax's products is an absolutely amazing and awesome technology in these for a cutting abrasive compound. Their platelets, they're flat, they're not hard, abrasive, round little chunks that's gonna be digging in and scratching. Therefore, this makes this product extremely easy to use, especially if you're a first time detailer, first time that you're doing a paint correction. With this precision plate lick technology, it is going to make it extremely easy and you're gonna get amazing results out of this. It's gonna be kind of like the Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions Polish and Wax. That is not going to attack as aggressive stuff as this will with a pad paired up with it that is an aggressive pad. But that stuff is also a very amazing product. I love the plate like technology in it. I cannot wait to check it out in this product. I'm gonna go ahead and read the instructions on the back and a little bit about this product. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and show you this awesome, awesome kit that Turtle Wax sent out to me. So huge shout out to Turtle Wax. Thank you so much for supporting me and sending this kit out to me to use and review. So I will be showing everything that is included in this kit. And then also we will be just doing a quick walk around, looking at the paint, seeing what the condition of the paint is in. Also kind of highlighting some areas that have a uh, little more severe paint defects. So we'll see how this product is gonna work on those heavier paint defects, uh, matched with a pad that I feel will be correct for going ahead and tackling those spots. One and done compound correct and finish utilizes precision plate lick technology, a proprietary blend of high quality abrasives that allows you safely to correct any paint surface in less time. Unlike typical abrasives that can gouge the clear coat, our precision platelets self-align for an even cut. The formula is pad adjustable for desired correction performance, and you can use the product longer without having to clean pads as frequently. Improved finish visibility allows you to see through the polish to view correction performance. Other product benefits include no sling, longer work time, dust-free, easy wipe off that leaves a high gloss finish, body shop safe. Directions for machine application, shake well, avoid application on hot surfaces in direct sunlight. To remove up to 15 1000 grit sand marks, apply three to four dime size drops onto a wool pad or heavy cutting foam pad. Spread product evenly on low setting over a two foot by two foot section. Apply light to medium pressure in a cross hatch pattern. Use appropriate speed and pad for the type of polisher being used. Remove excess product with a clean, dry microfiber towel. For final polishing, apply three to four dime size drops on a medium polishing pad or light finishing pad. Spread product evenly at low speed over a two foot by two foot section. Apply light to medium pressure in a cross hatch pattern. Use appropriate speed and pad for type of polisher being used. Remove excess product with a clean, dry microfiber towel. Apply paint protection and enhancement. Follow with use of graphene infused Hybrid Solutions Pro to the Max Wax and Hybrid Solutions Pro Flex Wax. The combined benefits include amazing depth of gloss, slickness, water repellency, chemical resistance, along with heat dissipation for increased UV protection. This helps keep water and contaminants from sticking to the vehicle, resulting in a clean, protected, easier to maintain finish. 
Note, check product compatibility by testing on a small area first. Product can be applied by hand if needed. So just coming in to take a closer look at the car and the defects that are in the paint, um, there's nothing really serious or horrible with it, but it's just your typical love marks, your light swirling, some scratches. Um, as you can see here in the hood around the lights, I will also add in another light right here so you can see it a lot better, uh, but it does have quite a bit of swirling. And that's basically what it's like all over the whole car. Uh, there is a few other little areas that have a little bit worse paint defects than this. Um, some scuffs and some scratches as well. Uh, I'm going to show those and highlight them so we can see how this product does and how it performs on those paint defects. But for the most part, this car is in really good condition and it does look really nice. Uh, I do believe that this one and done compound is going to make this surface look a lot better. It's also going to just really enhance the paint and get out these defects that we can see with the light. So on the side panels here that we're looking at, uh, pretty much all of them are the same way. The paint defects are just the light swirling and scratching. You can see some scratches there in the paint. Uh, they're really not that deep. Your fingernail does not catch on them. So it is in good condition. You see a lot of the swirling. Majority of it is on the hood, roof, and trunk, and then also on these back pillars here. Uh, more of those flat areas that kind of get abused and beat up during washes. Back here on the trunk lid is one of the defects I was saying. It's more of a scuff, a light scratch. Once again, you cannot really fill it with your fingernail. So I'm really curious to see how this product is going to do on it as well. I'll just go over the trunk real quick and then I will also show what the roof of the car looks like after the trunk lid here so you can see the defects that are on it as well. I'm just trying to basically show everything that we need to see on this so we can get a full feel of how this one and done compound is going to work and how it is going to perform on these paint defects. Okay, so here is the pad that I was talking about, the yellow one. I'm gonna go ahead and open the bottle Kind of helps guys, so that's one thing you need to do. You need to open the bottle before you uh, try to put it on the pad because that doesn't work. But anyways, we're gonna do four dime size drops on here just because I have not used or primed this pad yet. So there's the four dime size drops. And as always, whenever you're using a polisher, you wanna go to the lowest speed and go ahead and just kind of smear that product out for where you're gonna be working so you don't get that awful dreaded sling. And then since I have it on one, go ahead and turn it on, spread this product out, and then I will turn the speed up to basically where my desired speed is and start correcting this panel here. I am gonna turn the volume down, that way you don't have crazy noise from the polisher. All right, so there is basically what I like to do. It's my three passes, side to side, up and down. I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna go ahead, wipe this off, see how it wipes off, 
It has done very good, no dusting at all. I do like seeing that a lot. I hate products that dust. So that's a huge plus right there. Working time. It's one thing they say, extended working time. Yes, extended working time without a doubt. The working time is phenomenal with this. I love how long the working time is with it. Uh, another thing that I like to say is they say it's a see-through. So as you're going, it is, it kind of clears up. It has still got product, it's still using product, but it gets clear and you can see through it. You can see the defects that you're trying to tackle. I like that a lot. So let's come in and see how the wipe off of this compound is. Hopefully it's as good as everything else has been. And yes, absolutely it is good as everything else has been. Very, very impressed with the wipe off. Huge difference so far. Um, there is a few lighter defects. Um, I cannot film with my nail. I can see them in here. I'll get the camera, I'll bring you in closer so you can see them. So seeing that, this is my test spot here that I'm doing. I can see from the top, I'll show you, there is a big difference right up here where I haven't done it to where I've done it. But I feel that this area can go just a little bit more to get a better finish on it. Uh, but huge drastic improvement so far. So I'll bring you in closer. Let's check this out from the top to the bottom here of what it's done. Let me change my pad to their Euro pad that they sent in the kit. Hit this area again with it. See how it looks. If it looks great, we'll jump up here, finish that. We'll pull this tape line to see the huge difference. So here's their Euro pad that I'm gonna be switching to. Uh, this is going to be a lot heavier of a cut. Uh, it is a microfiber cutting pad. I think this is going to do the trick for me, but you don't want to just jump to this straight away. Because if you can remove what you're going after, you, don't, you can't remove everything 100%, but if you can remove what you're going after with a least aggressive pad, that's what you want to do. You don't want to diminish your clear coat. You're not going to remove everything out of it. So that is very, very important to know. There is stuff on here that I feel that can come out a little bit better. That's why I'm jumping up to this. One super cool thing about these pads that are included, as you can see here, they are branded Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions. Freaking awesome, love that. Love all the branding Turtle Wax, amazing job on that. So bringing the camera in closer, as I mentioned, you can see here, huge improvement. Huge, drastic. You could honestly probably stick with that pad. There is a few littler spots that you can see in these tighter to reach areas. You can see there's some in there. That's what I'm going after to get rid of. But coming up to the top where we haven't touched, you can see all of the swirls and scratching moving down to where I have done it, right here. Drastic improvement. I can definitely get a little bit more from this to right in here. You can still see there is some light, light scratches, but they will definitely come out so that's what I was talking about, stepping the pad up for those. Like I mentioned, I'm not going after everything. I'm going after a very nice finish with reduced scratches and swirling that is in the paint. But I am also going after preserving this paint, not removing too much of the clear coat, not getting this paint diminished to the point of harming it. So coming in with the Euro pad, we're gonna do four drops on it as well, dime sized roughly. So that's what we're going to do on it. Same thing, spread it out, low speed, spread it out with it off, low speed, spread it out again, and then go ahead and turn your speed up. One thing I want to say one more time, don't want to repeat myself too much. This see-through, how it kind of just works the compound in, and then you can start seeing through it, the compound is still there. 
I don't, it's very light, but it's still there. The working time, loving it. But that see-through so you can see the defects that you're going after works so well because you're not just getting all this built-up compound on here. It works so well. I love it. The other part I absolutely love, I look forward to it when I'm done, it's coming in and getting the stuff off of the panel. It's not hard to get off the panel. You're not dreading shutting your polisher off and, oh, I'm going to have to put so much elbow grease into this to get it off. No, not with this. This stuff, as you see, it just comes off. Super easy, very quick, effortless. It is what I am looking for in a product, and it works really good. So now, switching to that pad, looking at the surface, that is the pad I need to use. It is getting rid of, I would say, about 95 to 98% of the defects that was in this paint. It has brought a lot of color depth out of it, we're going to see that when we remove the tape line. It's very, very glossy, shiny, nice color depth. Let me go ahead, do this top part of the hood here real quick. I'll probably just do that off a of camera. I don't, I'm not showing how to do a paint correction. I want to show how great this product so far is to use. So let me get that top portion done. I'll turn the camera back on. We'll peel that tape line off and we will check it out to see how it is. But before I shut the cameras off and do the top part, let me bring my light in one more time and the camera closer so we can take a closer look at this beautiful surface that the Turtle Wax One and Done Compound has done. So as you can see here, the absolute amount of depth and gloss, and I do not have any haze on this, looks absolutely phenomenal. Compared to right up here, you can see all the swirls, and as I showed before, Get right here where I've worked it. They are gone compared to that. It has got rid of the small little light scratches and swirls I was seeing right around in here on the hood. So that is what I am looking for and how I want this surface to look. But the depth, and it's making that metal flake pop. It looks so good. I cannot wait to get the top of the hood done. Another thing I will do is coming back into this bottom part, we will put a pad on designed for waxes, a least aggressive pad, basically to polish. So we've corrected, and I think we can get more shine and depth out of this by polishing that surface and just adjusting the pad. And this one and done is doing whatever we need to do with just the pad, and that is super, super cool, and I'm absolutely loving it. So I got the top portion of that hood done. Very quick, easy, just as you saw here. Just absolutely loving this product right here. This one and done is no joke. Loving this stuff. So what I'm gonna do now, before I pull that tape line, I put on the black pad. So this is a very, very soft. You can apply waxes with it, polishes with it. So that is what you're going to use basically to polish a surface, to put as much gloss and shine in it. At this point, you're really not going after any kind of paint defects. You're going after that picture perfect finish of just having an extreme amount of shine, gloss, bringing that color depth out. So we are not tackling any sort of imperfections right now. It will remove some. So I'm not saying it's not gonna remove any, it will remove some, but that is not what it's going to do. The surface, super glossy as you can tell right here. I mean, look at that reflection right there of the turtle wax. I know he's upside down, but he's up on the wall. But we're just gonna come in because this compound is going to be adjusted by your pads. So I just want a little bit more gloss out of the surface if I can get it. I do think it's definitely going to get some more gloss. I really, really wish I had a gloss meter right now because I could tell you what the gloss levels are at right now. I could come back after doing this and tell you again, I do not have one. I want to get one so bad because I think you guys would enjoy seeing that. If that is something you'd enjoy, definitely drop it in the comments below saying, yeah, we want to see some gloss unit readings. But I'm going to go ahead, spread this product out. I'm going to hit the whole side of this hood with it real quick, wipe it off, and then we will pull that tape line.
went on very smooth and easy. Working time, that really showed the amount of working time that this product has. It has a tremendous amount of working time. A little bit of this product does go a long ways, which is nice because you don't have to use a ton of it. And personally, that has made a difference as well. It is very glossy. It is a lot deeper looking, a little bit richer if you will. It has made that panel look really, really good. One thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have a few more pads. You don't wanna use just one pad on the whole car. That's not a big deal at all. Because normally you're gonna have quite a few pads. Uh, if you're just getting started, just pick up a few extras. But that product right there wipes off. The wipe off is awesome. Love the wipe off. I know I keep saying it, but I hate, 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 hate products that are an absolute pain to wipe off. This is not. I'll bring you in closer with the light. I'm very, very impressed with how this looks. Then I'm gonna set the camera up. We're gonna get that 50-50 line. It has turned out absolutely amazing. The turtle wax, one and done, loving it. So bringing you in for that closer look, as you can see, look at the depth and the shine of that metal flake in this paint. It looks so good. It is so glossy. That's Gloss City right there. Super, super glossy. Absolutely loving it. You can see how it is not, not as glossy. But let's not spoil that too much. I want to get the camera set up, pull this tape line, bring you guys in close so we can check that out. So here we go. We'll go ahead and pull that tape line. I'm gonna see how it looks and huge, huge difference. Phenomenal difference. As you can see right there without even coming in close on camera to see what it looks like. You can see the color, the depth, the gloss on the side that we have not hit yet. You can see dull, lots of love marks, some swirling, some scratching, not as good looking and personally, this car did not look too bad. I thought it was pretty glossy and pretty shiny before, but now seeing what the paint looks like, huge difference. Let's come in closer and take a look. So coming in for a closer look, as you can see there, you can see all these scratches and swirling. I didn't think the paint was in that bad a shape, but then you come over here to what we've just done. Huge difference, dramatic difference. The metal flake is just popping over here compared to the side that we haven't done. It is there, but it looks nothing like the side that this one and done has corrected and made look so good. I didn't think the paint was in that bad of shape. I wouldn't say it's horrible shape, but I didn't realize it was that dull. I thought it was pretty glossy looking before. But now seeing what this one and done has done on this side over here, this paint looks phenomenal. Absolutely love it. You do not have to do a two stage correction like I did with the light polishing pad. If you're happy with the results that you got, go ahead and leave it. If you want to get the most out of it, use that black pad, go over it, polish that surface out. But I cannot believe the color depth right there and the gloss and the shine. Scratches, swirling, all that is gone compared to over here. I know this video is going to be a bit longer, but I want to keep showcasing the Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions Pro one and done. So there is a few more spots. I'll just do the smaller spots of some scratches, some marks in the paint. I want to see how it does tackling those, how it does removing them, what, it, what they'll look like. Will it shrink them down? Will it completely get rid of them? I know I did show some of those on camera before, but I'll bring you along. We'll check those out. We'll see how it works on it. And then we will wrap this video up and I'll give my final thoughts on it. And you're not gonna wanna miss my final thoughts because look at the difference right here on the hood. I got a little bit to say about this product and I am just absolutely loving it right now. So here's another spot I wanted to highlight right around the driver's door, door handle. And as you can see, like always, tons of scratches. Just from when people go to reach for the door handle, they kind of miss, hit it with their fingernails. But these spots right here will collect 
some of the worst and most scratches that you're going to see. And there's going to be deeper ones, lighter ones, but that's where you're going to find a lot of scratches as this door has right here. So this is one spot I want to tackle. Another one that we're going to be tackling is the pillars. We're going to go ahead and be hitting those because as you can see there, as always, tons of scratches and swirling. And then when we're done there, we're going to move back here onto the trunk lid. There is just this little scratch. It's a light scuff. If you fill it with your nail, it's not too bad, but it has this light scuff. So we'll hit it real quick to see what it does there. And then we'll get into my final thoughts. I don't want to stretch it on too long, but I will show the whole car once it is all have been corrected and looking phenomenal with the one and done product. Okay, so I'm just coming back with the same pad. I'm just gonna put three drops on it here, which is going to be actually way more than I needed because I wasn't thinking I'm just gonna do this area to highlight it, but that's me not thinking. <laughs> so might have to just do a little bit more, but I'll do that off camera. Well, let's go ahead and see if we can remove these defects. Absolutely drastic difference. Quick, easy, effortless. There is a few deeper scratches here. I do not want to go after those because I can tell that they are deep. I can actually see the clear coat where it has started to kind of fold over as you do the paint correction, kind of minimizing that scratch. And I do not want to compromise the clear coat. I can't say that enough in this video because I want the longevity of this paint to last. I want this paint to look great as it does right here. It looks absolutely amazing. But I also want it to last for years to come. So I want it to look good and last. So there is a nice fine line between that. You don't want to just go after these defects trying to get them out. But as I bring you in closer with the light so you can see, you're going to notice that all those scratches that I showed you are gone with the exception of a few deep ones. And that is what you want right there. This polish is just absolutely amazing. I could see them disappearing because you can see through the compound. Absolutely love it. So just coming in closer as I did before without the light, you can see those two bigger scratches on the light right in here. Those are the ones I said I don't want to go after. But look at all the rest of this. They are completely gone. So it looks so good. Absolutely phenomenal. We can come in with the light. And as you can see, the gloss in it there. So it looks super, super good. It has removed all those heavy scratches out of that from people just grabbing the door handle to get in. Let's hit these black pillars real quick. And then that small spot on the trunk. So I'm actually going to be using a smaller polisher for these pillars. I have a aggressive foam pad. This is just a good correcting pad. This is a heavy pad. You're not going to need as much on the smaller pad because of the area that we're doing. But I do feel that something like that is perfect. I feel like that's plenty for this small area. So same thing as the paint. Just come in on a slow speed and then go ahead and work this compound in to get these amazing results. Sometimes these pillars can be often missed or sometimes people just don't really know how to go about them. One thing you wanna keep in mind when doing these is they can build up quite a bit of heat in them. Uh, they are plastic, they're not metal behind there. So you don't wanna put a lot of pressure, you don't wanna sit on them in one spot for too long. Uh, heat can warp them or distort them. So getting all the imperfections out of those can be very hard, but just like the paint, if you can get majority out, you're going to have a big difference just like these. I'll grab my light, we'll come in closer, take a look at these so you can see, cause you saw how they looked before and they have turned out extremely well. You can always come in with a polishing pad 
but as you can see here, you still have a few light swirls in them, but a drastic difference at that. They look really good. I don't like to go after these really hot and heavy because as I mentioned, you can distort them, you can ruin them, but just seeing them like that is a huge improvement from what it was. That's how I'll leave them. Some people want to go more, they want to go less. That's where I'm comfortable with them. So just find your comfort zone, stay in your comfort zone. You're going to get phenomenal results. But as I was mentioning, you can come back in with a lighter pad, like a wax pad, a very soft pad, and polish them out to get them even shinier. But as you can see, these things are already super, super shiny. And it has done a huge difference. Those are smaller scratches but they are very deep scratches, so I just do not want to tackle them. So coming around to the trunk lid, here is that, I'm gonna call this a scuff, because you cannot feel it with your fingernail, and it's just a nice scuff in the trunk there. So we're gonna see how it does on removing this, which I'm sure it is going to completely take it out in a way, but let's check it out. So I'm not sure if my camera stayed in focus, and it might be hard for you to see, but I could see through that compound as I was working it, and right there, that spot is completely gone. I do believe it was somewhere right in here, but it has now, as you can see the reflection of my hand, well, the way I had it, that spot is completely gone. Very easy, effortless. And that was, like I said, it was more of a scuff in the paint than a scratch, but it just took it right out with ease. So sorry, it's gonna be a bit close up. I do not have my camera with the wide angle, but I just want to show the finished results. And as you can see, the reflection in this thing is absolutely insane. That one and done compound has done a tremendous job bringing out that reflection. As you can see, that is just looking up onto the wall but the reflection is really, really nice. It has done a fantastic job of getting all the paint defects out, as you can see with the light. There is still some light scratches. It has minimized the heavy scratches, making them light scratches. I didn't want to tackle those and try to remove them because, as I mentioned, it is all about preserving the paint and not cutting down too much on it. But I think this product has done a fantastic job, an amazing job at that and it has delivered results that I was looking for and needing. But as you can see, the depth that it has brought out in this paint, the clarity in the paint is just absolutely phenomenal. I really like just the contours because you can really see the clarity in the paint. You can see the metal flake popping. The paint just looks super wet, glossy, high shine just because of how clean it is and how great of a job the one and done compound has done it, removing the defects in the paint to bring it back to this condition. All right, so as you guys can see throughout the video, using this one and done compound, I personally absolutely love this stuff. A few things that might not matter to some, but definitely like the bottling, the labeling, very, very cool. I also love the scent of this, but that is not where this product shines. This product shines much, much further than that. It is very, very easy to use. It does a great job tackling the paint imperfections and defects in it, pairing it with whatever pad you need to use to get rid of those. This product has worked super, super well and has delivered results that I was looking for with tremendous ease of use. Personally, I can't say enough about this product. I absolutely love it. Turtle Wax has been doing some very, very revolutionary stuff here recently. They came out with the ICE lineup that's been quite a while ago, then they came out with the Hybrid Solutions, and now the Hybrid Solutions Pro lineup. They're always innovating and making really, really good products, and for the price of their products, the bang for the buck is just out of the park. It is really, really good. I'm not just saying that. As I mentioned, what this stuff does, pairing with whatever pad you need to get those paint defects and imperfections, it does a very, very good job. The working time is insane. I love the working time of it. You have a lot of working time with it. And then also the wipe off. The wipe off is so nice. I hate a product that I have to put a lot of elbow grease into on the wipe off, but this product is not one of those. 
This product does an absolutely amazing job with that wipe off. It comes off very, very easy. Leaves the surface looking absolutely beautiful as you can see. So the Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions Pro One and Done Compound personally is a must if you're a weekend warrior, a detailing enthusiast, even if you're a mobile detailer or have a business detailing, I think personally this is a product that you're definitely gonna wanna try out just for the simple ease of use. You only need just this one bottle if you wanna do a one step, two step, or a three step correction. I don't really see why you need to do a three step, but I think a two step going in, tackling those imperfections, and then coming back in with a lighter pad and just polishing that surface to that very, very deep, high gloss shine, this product definitely shines. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing what this Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions Pro One and Done has done to this car here. And it looks absolutely amazing. I cannot believe the clarity that has come out in it, how good it looks. It has darkened it up. It has brought the metal flake out. It just looks absolutely amazing. I am very, very happy with it. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe it was helpful or informative. Remember to smash that thumbs up if you liked it. Drop a comment down below what you think of this product if you have or haven't tried it. And then also remember to subscribe to the channel if you have not. Click the bell, turn on all post notifications so you don't miss a future upload. We have two more videos coming on this and you're definitely not gonna wanna miss them. But I wanna thank you all so much for stopping in and checking out this video and I will catch you all in the next one. And until then, take care. Suck on the beans, 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 suck on the beans